Well, hello there, guys. Uh, let's start the video with the important part. This is the map where I have marked down all of the spots that we need to upgrade our little tree over here to level 8. The Frostbearing Tree is level 8. As you can see, I have already um, unlocked the Icy Harvest and I recommend you to get this done as quick as possible. Sadly, um, this was quite a hustle, especially the online maps um, quite often false information on it. So I ended up just really running it down, up and down, just climbing everywhere. I can already confirm that there's more than 80 hidden on the map and those markers that you see right here are sadly not 80 because at the start of the game at uh, the start of my journey i did not notice that those boys um were also in chests whenever like a chest has a red glowing on them so there are several chests that i have collected at the start of the game um that also had the uh, power-ups um let me already tell you one thing though I, like I'm not able to cut down the footage. I have played like this 12 hour footage that I have to look through and cut the little snippets together to give you guys the exact positions of the stuff. Um, I'm not able to do that since I pulled an or nighter and it's uh, 11 p.m. again, I wanna go to bed. So we ended with this one here. One thing that took me the longest was actually this one here. Like those guys, most of them, they are actually at the absolute top of the mountain yes you heard me right you can at some point climb the mountain up and really 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 climb the mountain up and you end up getting like three or four more also let me tell you something if you like me don't have an animal character and you climb the mountain please tune your traveler to be animal because there is an animal riddle um, i have not done it yet because i didn't want to climb the mountain yet again uh, after yeah, tuning him to animal but yeah so keep that in mind when you climb the mountain for those extra um, spots. Yeah, make sure to do it then. Uh, why would you do it? Why would you hurry with that? Um, there is like, it's like event based actually with the tree. Uh, let me show you quickly how this works. You get weekly um, two times five missions to gain new one. Like it's basically like commissions kind of. Um, so that means every Monday and every Friday it refreshes and then you have time till the Monday or Friday to get those five done. And that's the only way how you get the frost bearing tree to the next levels. And obviously you want to at least get it to um, level 11 for the crown, which means you need 10, 20, 30 more. So make sure to get that done as this event should be ending at some point if i'm not wrong unless it's it's endless i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i decided to give it like i mean we're playing genshin anyway it's winter break we're all in <laughs> we're all in quarantine anyway so you might as well do this now well um definitely the problem with the map is that there's lots of caves and stuff and a lot of riddles you sometimes have to uh, kill things you sometimes have to melt ice you know um you have to just kill something and then a chest spawns you know if you see a big guy take him down because you might unlock a chest that gives you the um the reward that you need uh what the fuck agate something a gate i don't fucking know how they're pronounced that's why i'm not saying the word tried not to say it but yeah when you see like a mark on my map and there is a big guy and you, like you don't see anything on the map which is like the case over 50 percent of the time i think like the floating ones are like below 40 or so and most of them are hidden um and then chests and whatnot so make sure to like kill whatever there is or like look for for an icy patch or maybe there's a riddle you have to solve so the water gets um, flushed out so you can go down into an another cave and so on lots of riddles lots of fun stuff honestly to do but that means you really have to explore everything and those markers are just giving you um i hope a good hint to progress in your story here yeah all right I think it's going to be it. There's nothing more that have to be said. However, I understand that this map is not uh, not not getting you there, you know, because like the the video form would be much better. Tomorrow is Christmas. I don't know if I managed to edit it. It's like a lot of time and we'll have to edit this down. So I'm not sure about that. I can't promise it. 
But what I can promise is to answer the comments. I have a rather good memory. And if you can tell me, yo, Pharaoh, I don't find this marker on your map right there. Where is it? Can you tell me, please? I have a rather good memory. I would probably be able to check it out. And I will check it out for you um, and just answer you where it is, what it was. Was it a riddle? Was it an ice chest? Whatever. Okay, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, appreciate the support I've been getting from Genshin so far. Um, you know how the drill works. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support your yeah, boy Pharaoh. Or just stop by on my Genshin live stream. I was live for like nine hours today on Trovo. Um, uh, would be happy to see you there. Until then, have a wonderful Christmas, and I see you probably tomorrow in a video. <laughs>